that damn Chucky. It's just, <laughs> it's true. You just, you just can't keep a good guy down. Chucky episode five. So Chucky episode five is the fifth episode of the hit TV show Chucky. We've been following for going on a month now. Holy crap. So five just wrapped up. And what I think about this episode, it's an interesting episode. A lot of things happen in this episode. I will say more than episode four. I will say I learned a lot of things that I theorized way back when Cold to Chucky came out. And I'm like, interesting i like these things are happening i'm kind of like we didn't really see too much chucky in this episode chucky really didn't do too much you know in the doll in this episode but i'm just like it's building up now that like jake is not part of team chucky anymore now it's like the loser club is like yeah time to take stick it to chucky but we know our good guy ain't ain't, ain't having that so episode five was was definitely an interesting one i definitely like how they did the flashbacks to this episode too but look, look. Okay, rewind with me real quick. Now, let me recap, but let's give me my thoughts and breakdown on episode five of Chucky. Here we go. Let's talk about it. Let's do it. Let me just address this real quick. The flashback this episode, more or less, is just how how I met your how I met your mother. Tiffany and Chucky is is interesting because you don't know it's Tiffany at first because it's this random redhead. But the way they was looking at each other was kind of like. Huh, maybe I, I thought it was like Nika's mother. I thought it was. Till they went to the hotel and Chucky's about to stab the chick. He's all like, "Do it, do it, do it!" And the other girl was just like, "What the fuck, Chucky?" And then she kills him. And then it's like you hear Jennifer Telly's voice come through, just like, <laughs> you know, like my mother always says, you know, a bat in the hands worth two in the belfry. She didn't say that. I'm just, I'm just paraphrasing. But Chucky and Tiffany, that's pretty much how they met at the hotel and shit in Hackensack. So it is kind of like, oh, well, that's where they met at and shit. So that's probably more to it. It was just interesting, but I'm also kind of like, that's not the voice of Jennifer Telly. I wish it was weird. Like it was like a weird tub. Interesting. But Chucky, obviously, you know, he likes blondes and not redheads. Well, on the present day, this episode takes place right after episode four, where we got the Losers Club, Jake, Lexi, and David. Pretty much just like, yeah, you know, they found out Lexi's dad got rid of Chucky, throwing him down the fucking needle shoot and shit. So they're like, yeah, let's just dig through that. Doesn't matter how much COVID's in there, let's just dig through it and kill him. But they realize, like, he's not in there and shit. Like, why would he? Come on, guys. Why would he be in there? Why would he stay in there? You should think in caps, guys. I doll arrives at Lexi's house and it happens to be Tommy from Child's Play 2. That moment I was just like, man, this is like this series really loves Child Play 2. And I love it too, because that's my favorite. But Tommy's back and everything like that, and you're thinking like, okay, maybe that's not like that's like a regular good guy doll. Maybe it ain't, you know, Chucky and shit. But we'll get to that later. But one real dynamic you learn is that Lexi's mom, she is bitch I'm really just like this is where lexi gets it from because lexi's mom trying to be a mom trying to be a mayor but she just like doesn't give a shit about lexi so it really gets to her character more just like oh you know i see you come from a bad home too like jake that's why these two like kind of they like you know they vibe together as shit i'm, I'm on t lexi's side yet she wasn't a complete asshole in this episode, even though the first half of the episode, asshole bitch. She like kind of got it back together. Now that her and Jake and Devin are together, it's kind of like, okay, yeah, maybe she's she's on that path to getting redeemed and shit. Speaking of Jake and Devin, they kissed finally. Yes, I'm so for that. I was, it took us five episodes, but they finally kissed. They finally hold hands and it feels earned. I liked it because Devin obviously liked Jake and Jake liked Devin, but it was kind of that like, will they, won't they kind of deal. And it was just like, are they going to do it? You're going to profess your love and one's just scared to do the other. And now they finally kiss. And I was just like, this is awesome. Hakuna Matata. But this is Chucky we're talking about. So we got to get back to that shit. So obviously we also learned that Chucky kind of no surprise. He actually transferred his soul out of his Two-Face good guy doll into the Tommy doll. So I guess we're done with Two-Face Chucky. Damn it, but well, those Funko Pops. We're gonna get them. Another thing we learned too, one of the most important things, I was like, oh, ooh, this is this is interesting, yeah. That we learned present day that Nika, yes, Nika and Jennifer Telly, Tiffany, they are in Hackensack, New Jersey, yes. And they're at the hotel and shit that you saw in the flashback. They're getting it on hot and heavy as shit, steamy and shit like that. Like, uh, I like my girl on girl action, yes. Even though one of them was possessed by a serial killer guy. I still like it there. Tiffany walks out of the building after she gets like the most relatable quote I've seen in the entire series. Just like, you know what my mother used to say? Never let a man cock block what makes you happy. And eating makes me happy. Like the most relatable thing I've ever heard in a show ever. That spoke to my soul. 
and it spoke to yours too. He walks out of the room and then I think it's like Chucky, you can remember Chucky is in control of Nika's body. If you remember what happened in Cold of Chucky, if you don't, you can watch it on Netflix. He, stumble, he stumbles or whatever, and then Nika's personality comes back and she tells the dude that they got snuck up like, yeah, you know, two weeks ago, I learned that Charlie Ray put his soul in a good guy doll and he, then he could split his soul into other good guy doll bodies and one of those souls is in my body and I'm trying to fight him, trying to suppress him. I was just like, holy shit. Like, I was wondering like, is Nika still in her body? Is she still in there? We learned that, yes, yeah, she is still in there. And now I'm like, I can see a reality, a season finale where it's like, yeah, we're trying to get Nika back by also trying to Spanish the evil spirit that's in Chucky. So like, can we save them both? Now it can happen. That was the most interesting part for me. Also, the fact that now we have like a timetable of when the series takes place. It takes place two weeks after Cold of Chucky. So now we know where it's at in the timeline. Right, but then we can have episode end without a good guy kill or something. So then throughout the town meeting shit like that, the principal and everybody at town hall is like, fuck fucking Lexi's mom because she's a horrible mayor. Her head rolls out for the principal, just rolls out, and then you just see the headless principal with the thumbs up and shit, and, and Chucky in Tommy's body, just like, <laughs> got him again! And then the episode ends, you're all just like, Chucky's back now! But, but come on, you can't keep a good guy down. Chucky episode five is out right now. You can watch it. I believe it's not on demand. It's gonna be on YouTube. So what do you think about Chucky episode five? I actually liked it. it learned a lot of new shit in it, and I can't wait for episode six because we're gonna get Andy Barkley. Yes! OG characters are coming, and I can't wait. What do you think about Chucky? Top below. Let me know what to talk about it. I'll see you guys in episode six next Tuesday. So yes, and as always, subscribe. Until next time.